Apple shows off while Zynga cuts out, the 3DS is looking stronger than ever, and two long-standing gaming TV shows are coming to a sad end. All of this and why a single day in March will ruin your financial stability. Today on the Halloween episode of Hot Off The Grill. Let's do it, baby. Hello and welcome to the October 27th edition of GamerNode.com's Hot Off The Grill. Senior Editor Jason Finelli here, and after a 24-hour gaming marathon and about 80 hours of sleep, I am ready. Let's do it. Apple debuted a brand new line of iPads known as the iPad Mini, and while it seems like a big deal, it's really not. It's essentially a shrunken iPad 2 starting at $329. So that's two generations ago, if you include the fourth generation that they just debuted, for $329. When you can get a Google Nexus 7 for $250 or any of the other tablets that are out there on the market. Apple, I love you guys, I love your products, but what the hell are you thinking? However, the only thing that could be worse than this announcement is the fact that while this announcement was going on and everybody was paying attention to them, Zynga decided, hey, this is the perfect time to lay off 100 employees. Zynga, I don't know who your PR people are. You are doing nothing to make yourself look good. Sorry, Bulldog sucks. In a new Nintendo Direct, Nintendo laid out the 3DS lineup coming up in the next half a year, and I gotta tell you, the 3DS is looking better than ever in the shadow of the Wii U. New trailers for Fire Emblem Awakening, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask, Paper Mario Sticker Star were shown, new DLC for New Super Mario Bros. 2 was revealed, and my personal favorite announcement, Animal Crossing New Leaf gets a name and a couple of new details, most important of which being, instead of being just a townsfolk, you are now the mayor of whatever town you decide to make an Animal Crossing. Which raises one question. What's wrong with Tortimer? Is he... did he die finally? He was old. And he's been old since the first game, since 2003. I'll miss you, Tortimer and I hope that I can be half the mayor that you were in Fantown. Godspeed, sir. This is a big week for gamers, especially myself, as a long-awaited game has been released. One of the first games that was completely covered from announcement to release right here on Hot Off The Grill. Of course, there are other games coming out too, but you know which one I'm leading off with. Grab those mugs and your hidden blades and get ready for a taste of what's on tap. Assassin's Creed 3 takes the fight between the Templars and the Assassins to the American Revolution. You'll see George Washington, you'll see Ben Franklin, and PS3 owners will see Benedict Arnold. Elsewhere, get step into the squared circle and get your wrestling on with WWE 13, or get chased by the cops in Need for Speed Most Wanted. And two HD remakes are hitting the shelves this week, one on the digital side with Okami HD, which thank you, bring that on. And Zone of the Enders HD Collection puts Zone of the Enders 1 and 2 into one neat little package from Hideo Kojima. Hopefully this means Zone of the Enders 3, or a new Zone of the Enders at all, but we'll see. Now while Assassins does lead the charge, that is a pretty big lineup of games. So what's filling your mug this week? G4 has announced that they are canceling two of their premier shows, Attack of the Show and X-Play. New episodes of the shows will run until December, and G4 will be rebranding to be more of a GQ or Esquire type of channel focusing on men. I don't see where video games have to take a step aside. I am a dude, I am a man, and I play video games. I'm sure there are a bunch of men that play video games. If you're trying to cater to the non-gamer men, fine, but why not have some programming that does that instead of just rebranding the entire station? You really think that rebranding is going to make people think of G4 as not a gaming station? That's never going to happen. So I hope between now and then you change this decision and decide to keep Attack of the Show and X-Play for those who did enjoy it, the gamers, before your rebrand could be your demise. In a bit of news that should have everybody on the face of the earth excited, SimCity PC, the next game from EA and Maxis, has a firm release date. On March 5th, 2013, you all can go back to building your cities and sharing them with the rest of us. Wait, March 5th. March 5th is the same day as Tomb Raider and South Park the Stick of Truth, isn't it? Oh. Well, guess I'll be dipping into the old wedding fund for that, won't I? Because I certainly won't have the funds. And I can't make that decision. 
between those three games. It has to be all three, right? I mean, they're all solid games. All of them have are definitely impressed so far. But SimCity is so good. What do I do? What, what, what do we do? Developers, stop doing this. Stop doing this to us. I don't like taking my wallet and throwing it out the window. I don't want to do that. Don't make me choose. Man. March 5th, 2013, just set your wallet on fire. Now, if we're gonna talk about the new SimCity, we better talk about the game that I'm going to play as soon as filming is over, SimCity 3000. Now, there may you may have been SimCity fans before, but SimCity 3000 is what really hooked me in as far as a fan is concerned. So let's go back in time with SimCity 3000 in this week's Revisited. SimCity 3000. Oh, how I adore thee. It took everything that SimCity 2000 did well and added a bit of a futuristic edge. Of course, I was the guy who always built a city and then destroyed it every which way I could. Fire, Godzilla, whatever the game allowed me to do. Hopefully the new game will let me do that too. But regardless, no matter how you played SimCity, there were hours and hours and hours of fun to be had with SimCity 3000. Anyone who owns the game can tell you the same thing. If you have not played this, and you want a perfect jumping point into the next SimCity game, go find it on goodoldgames.com or something like that, download it, and start playing it. You will not stop until March 5th. And with that, this puny, pathetic mortal show has ended. Tune in next week for more of the biggest gaming news, so long as Hurricane Sandy doesn't blow us all off the map. Until next time, thank you again for watching, and stay hungry, my friends.